How did the defense look on uh, film afterward? It, you said it looked good after the tournament. Uh, I mean, you know, you're never going to be perfect, but our effort to communicate was great. Our effort to recover was great. Um, and we defended without fouling for the most part. So in both games, one game we were plus nine at the foul line, one game we were plus 11 at the foul line. So it's hard to lose when you, you, you play in a two game tournament, you make 20 more free throws than your opponent. But a lot of that is defending without fouling, which is, uh, you know, it's been a staple of ours for a while. So, but it's easy to foul, it's hard to move your feet. It's hard, harder to communicate. It's not a natural response. But, uh, you know, we're still building. Everybody's going to improve, so we got to continue to improve. Do you feel like it was a test or a step that you wanted to see them take on and, and overcome the, the tournament itself? And oh, yeah. Situations? You know, obviously, uh, George Mason's Atlantic 10 team, Ole Miss and SEC team. So uh, to be able to win those games by double figures, first of all, I guess, you know, you gotta, if you win by 10 or more, it counts, right? And whatever the, the new. The net. <laughs> is that what they call it, the net? Comes out today. It's like the RPI now. You can tell I'm real excited about it. Uh, but I did read where if you win by 10 or more, it matters. So that's a good thing. But uh, yeah, just, uh, I, you know, consistency of effort, I think, is, is big. Uh, growth of different players is going to make our team better. You know, Jaron getting himself to the foul line when uh, he's struggling from the field, when he knows we're in the bonus. Uh, the guy's just uh, improving. You know, that's the most important thing. And uh, there's a lot of ways to win basketball games, but you hold, you know, you, you hold teams into the 50s, you're going to win games. You like your shot selection of late? Yeah, I think, you know, when you're dealing with a guy like uh, Jaron, uh, it's like SK, you're going to have to live with some shots. He took two threes against Ole Miss and we're halfway down and out. Um, just so he's trying to score and not be a shooter is all I really care about. But, uh, you know, the rest of our guys, I think, are, are doing everything they can to get the best shot possible. It's, it's been, it's it consistently improved since the Ohio State game. You're facing the team with a guy who scored 40 points twice this year. What are we playing, LaSalle? Am I playing? <laughs> Uh, he, 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 we played against him last year, so uh, I thought he, he can score in a lot of ways. You know, score, he's a, he can make threes. I think guys, he's made probably 50 or more percent of their field goals. can't remember. I just looked at it. Um, but uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, you know, the way we play defense, is a, it's a problem for the other team's coach to draw up plays for his best player because you've got to deal with what we're doing. So you really can't dictate who you're going to get the ball to and where you're going to get it to them. So we did a good job in the old Miss game of that. Uh, they could never really get Davis the ball in the flow of their offense. And, uh, you know, they, they, we have to do the same thing tomorrow night against McKnight. What do you like about Kane? Well, he makes us a better team. Whenever you can, uh, if you're good enough to, uh, to bring one of your best players, you're probably second best scorer off the bench, uh, it uh, give, gives you a chance at the first TV timeout that if you're struggling to come in and, and, and put one of your best players in the game. Uh, trying to start our best defensive and rebounding lineup. Uh, you know, still mixing and matching with that. You said if you're good enough to be able to do that. Is that right. kind of a luxury to do that, to be able to do that? Well, a lot of teams can't do it. Uh, or maybe a coach isn't willing to do it. Uh, you know, I just... Get buried early. Right. I think, uh, you know, but we'll, we'll see. You know, it doesn't mean we're going to start the same lineup the rest of the year. Is that significant or important, maybe more for players to have a trophy even in an early season tournament? Does that do something for their confidence or do you not have much? Well, I think you got to realize, uh, and e even I need to re realize this, you know, you, you, for these, the, it's a business for you. You're, you're here at work. I'm at work. Uh, you know, they're still, they're on scholarship, but they're still young kids. 
Uh, and there's got to be some the, an element of fun to it. Uh, even the pro coaches do it. You know, you got you got to allow them guys to have some fun. Uh, it can't just be all business all the time. You know, we all grind it out. I'm just as bad as anybody talking about hard work and focus on the process. So I think just the fact that, uh, you know, they can win a tournament, celebrate together, uh, and enjoy a little bit, that it's just, it's, it's good for the soul. Uh, especially young people, they need it. You gotta have some reward. Uh, but, uh, you know, when you watch them do it, you realize that uh, they might be big and strong, but they're still young. So you, you gotta let them have some fun. So I think that's, that's a good part to it. Uh, but and also I think, you know, being able to concentrate and play two games in a short period of time is really good practice for every team for the postseason. How would you grade Nasir and Trey so far this year? I think they continue to improve every game. And just got to make sure they, that they do. They're going to have setbacks along the way. Uh, uh, and, you know, every season is new. Just like a, as a coach, you're not going to coach your best game. You're learning your team as well. So they're, I think they're learning as they go, you know, what it's like to be a starter, what it's like to be responsible for everything all the time. Uh, so, you know, they're, they're, their attitude's great. They've embraced it. But you, you can't teach experience. You just can't. It's just got to happen. It's just the only way, only way for it. You got to be out there and when you're out there an extended period of time, things happen to you that don't happen to you when you're out there in short snippets of time. Jared said he talked you into a few extra minutes. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, he's dealing with a little calf strain, so I was just going to, I thought, you know, again, Kane and Justin are seniors. Uh, got a lot of confidence in Logan handling the ball against pressure. I, you know, Ole Miss really never came with a, like a full court trap. I think they never really had it close enough where I think maybe they thought that they could start trapping us full court to try to beat, you know, try to get the comeback. But he kept trying to sneak back in to get some free throws, I think. I think Trey might be leading you guys in, in overall minutes this season, or at least close to it. What does he give you on the floor that maybe you can't get from anyone else? Well, two things. One, he's a fourth year guy, he redshirted. Um, He's a versatile defender in our defense. Uh, he, and he's a very smart player. Then the other part of that would be he doesn't have a veteran behind him. So, you know, I think the, this, uh, the more Rashawn gets comfortable, I'd like to see Rashawn to be able to play. It's just hard right now because I'm asking him to play as a perimeter guy and a post guy. It's a lot for a first year player. Uh, so, I'd like to see maybe some of Rashawn's more minutes come with Trey on the floor together. With like to, Trey at the five or? No, well either, but that's awfully small lineup. No, with Rashawn at, at the three, some. How important is this game coming off a uh, tournament championship in season and with a uh, first true row game on Saturday? How important is it to not overlook tomorrow's game against Arkansas Pine Bluff? Well, I think it's just practice for us to make sure that uh, we stay focused on getting better. Again, you got to let the guys have fun, but you know your constant reminder is the result shouldn't affect uh, your your study of your team and your preparation to get better, uh, regardless of results. So there's areas where we need to improve, and that's what we need to be focused on. And. Uh, even our best players, uh, they got to get a lot better. That's what we're in it. You know, that's that's what we try to make sure our program's about. And uh, you, if you're a team that loses focus, you're going to be a 500 ball club. You said at the beginning of the year that it might take you a while, you know, with this team to figure out uh, starting lineup. Yeah. You're getting closer to that. Well, this one's kind of been working right now, um, but you know, you, you just don't know where it's headed. I think uh, right now our best it's our best defensive lineup, and our best rebounding lineup, which would tend me to favor that lineup. I think there's a, you know that doesn't mean that Rashawn Fredericks wouldn't be a candidate or, uh, or Logan Johnson with it, the way he defends. Uh, you know, be, Trevor Moore slipped out of the rotation. He's got to work his way back in. Obviously, you know. I, uh, 
Keith is, uh, he's in there for defense and rebounding right now uh, and his athleticism. Just to compliment Jaron. Right now, I think he's the best compliment to Jaron. Uh, but it could, it could evolve.